There are people out there that are going to try to knock you down all the effing time. You decide if you're going to like let these idiots just bother you. I, I got to tell you, my daddy uh, raised me right. My daddy uh, raised me to believe in uh, positive thinking and believing that you could be anything you uh, set your mind to. There are people out there that are going to try to knock you down all the effing time, whether you're in front of uh, a camera like I'm doing live streaming right now or doing a radio show or what have you or whatever you do in your life. But you know what? You really have control over it. You decide if you're going to like let these idiots just bother you. I know there are guys that set their alarm just to beat the shit out of me every morning. Boo, you suck. Jimmy is more successful than you. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be tired all day because you had to set your alarm just to say that. <laughs> Some of these comments, if you if you need to know the truth, they sting a little bit. It, it's kind of like uh, if you're hanging out with family and friends, right, at the beach or uh, you're barbecuing after a long day at the beach and you're having just a glorious time with people you really give a shit about. And then all of a sudden you get hit with a mosquito here and there. It's annoying. And you're like, ah, Jesus. But. You decide at that point if you're going to allow that dumb mosquito to completely ruin the fact that you're in the moment with people that you uh, that you love hanging out with. But a lot of us, you know, we're only human, and these uh, these negative, toxic people they could easily bring you down for the whole day. But I'm here to say, in the end, it really is up to you to allow that to happen. You know, the best I could tell you, some of these people, it's annoying. It's like getting hit with a mosquito here and there. But then, yeah, I put, I put some itch cream on the damn thing and I, and I plow forward because they're not worth my time in the end. People want me to watch Anthony and, and all the garbage he's saying about me. I, I simply choose not to do that. You have that same choice. Pat Duffy, negativity is everywhere. I recently got a paragraph long comment on my youtube channel about how i didn't build a swedish fire law correctly dude went on and on about how i wasn't practicing proper bushcraft it was ridiculous i just deleted it and moved on with my day and life that's exactly what you do there are people hitting up my social media with terrible shit i just delete it and move on uh pat Tuffy talking about getting a paragraph long comment while writing a paragraph long comment <laughs> I, I really wish that someone um, could write a book about the mind of a hater and why they hate. Um, no one has really, really um, explained that well yet. Where does it come from? I hear it, it comes from uh, their pain, their pain bodies, as Eckhart Tolle would say. So they got a lot of pain in their life, in their soul. And uh, for whatever reason, they have to take it out on others. Uh, but no one has really been able to really sit down and write a book about it. That really makes sense. Imagine being a hater, laying in bed last night, actually setting the alarm to wake up early, all to just try uh, to dump on you. They must really hate their lives. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't fully understand it. I'm sure it's a bunch of them are uh, defending Anthony. Um, and that's it. Most of my hate comes from Anthony at this point. That's it. Even the Howard Stern people, they, they leave me alone. Some of them actually have written me over the years. You know, I hated on you forever because I was a big Howard Stern fan. But, you know, I got I to gotta admit, some of the stuff you've said is, uh, is accurate and true. So I want to apologize for some of the really nasty shit I said over the years. When those people come to me, I actually uh, embrace them and go, you know what? It's all right. But that's it. I mean, unfortunately, at this point, the only hate I get is from from Anthony's camp. I mean, I, they, there might be a little spillover from some of the horse shit I did uh, on the radio show over the years. But I, that's what I find incredibly pathetic and sad that the for the most part, the only hate I'm getting is is, is from the guy that I did a radio show with for uh, more or less 20 years and made millions uh, doing it with him. And he's the one. That is responsible for most of the hate I get these days. That is insane to me.